hi welcome to my channel and another planner video which i was not planning on doing this year but it turns out there's some stuff that i was hoping i could do without next year but having started with my lineup already in december this month i realized i cannot and i do have to have some more things um yeah i will show most of the additional stuff in a video that shows my january um setup in my planner i'll uh, there's like mm, one thing i think one thing that is um that i have added and it's not much so i can just talk about then this one this is a new thing for me actually in in, in this form it's a ring planner and it's my sort of like budget book well it's not really a budget more like money spending tracker and saving track like i'll show you but first this thing i have um it's very old as you can see it's like it has like marks and it doesn't look great it's not broken but it's it's quite old <laughs> um i it actually didn't belong to me it was my brother-in-law's like it wasn't even my husband's it was his brother <laughs> and he had it for some reason and it was lying around and uh for the over a decade i lived with him i have like kept this sort of like i just put it away and never never trashed it even when we uh trashed all of our most of our things uh, last year when you moved i apparently kept this <laughs> i have put it away and forgotten all about it and recently i came across it and i was thinking well i have seen other people use personal rings for budgets and like money envelopes and such and maybe i could try and i actually open it there, there was a, a bit of paper like an agenda and stuff and it turns out it was from 1996 like that's that's a lot that is a lot lot <laughs> so um yeah i didn't realize it was that old but like yeah okay it's it still works it has nice pockets and the zipper still works and there's nothing broken so i was just like well what the what the hell <laughs> I, i'll just use it so yeah i have um this i i've kept this because it's cute and nostalgic i'm not uh, obviously it's not well it's not 96 but i could actually use this calendar in uh what was it 2024 because uh in 24 it also has a leap year with february having not 29 days and the first of january january is monday so this is basically the same year and i could use it but i'm not going to because i'm not going to destroy it it's so cute i will probably print another one for um 23 so uh how i have set this up it's very very simple just written stuff and not not very pretty or fancy it's just an old drink binder with some inserts yeah you'll see so anyway first i have my budget or like my spending tracker the annual is just on two pages it is very simple it is um for every month i will write the income the spending the saving and what obviously the sum of it 
like the balance that is that is everything in my annual so far i haven't like printed stuff for every month and um cut stuff out because i'm a lazy bitch <laughs> and um i'll just see what works and if it doesn't i'll change it and it won't be so much work like every time to change it so this is um the monthlies and this this here what used to be a in this um, ring binder, this old, old ring binder, those used to be like uh, letters for, you guess it, for an address book. <laughs> like, you know, address people, the names with the letters and stuff. And I'm like, who, who even uses an address book like that anymore? Except for, I don't know, my grandma or something. Um... But yeah, it was convenient as I just put in like sticker things and wrote the months and it was enough. There was even one over. So yeah, this is what I've done with the months. I only have set up January uh, because like I said before, uh, I am lazy and I am not going to set up everything and then change it. Well, this is January the... First is the income. I have simply just the date, what it is, how much, done. This I don't need more. This is, I mean, I do have a budgeting sheet in um, in Google, like my my but it's very fancy and elaborate and it's very big and complicated. But this one is just noting down the amounts done those are bills and fixed uh like bills <laughs> fixed like stuff that we cannot change um what it is when it's due how much it is and how when did i pay it those are subscriptions that are kind of they're not fixed but they are technically cancel but can cancelable I can cancel them, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> so, yeah, those are our subscription. Same, what, when it's due, the amount, when I paid it. Those are extra, those are car expenses. Uh, I do have a budget for this, uh, which I'm hoping to not uh, go over, but we never know, right? Um, so, it's... Uh, the date what it was how much it was that's it i do have like this um this thing that came with the ring thing and i will just keep it in um the, the thing that i'm using currently uh so i can flip to it faster and and then we only have day-to-day -day expenses like grocery shopping um buying a coffee or whatever it's just when it was what it was how much it was and i have several pages of this i even have one more if i need it but i hope not um and then i have the month summary summary how much was my total income the spending how much i put in the envelopes and the balance and then i have like split up the spending into a few categories that I, I just want to check how much we spend on what and where we can like do something about it so like i said the other months are basically the same i just haven't set them up yet if something changes if i need uh, other pages or if i need to write something else down i will uh reflect that change in the coming months but yeah uh and then after the months we just have the savings which is envelopes there's a page for each envelope where i just write what it is the date i put money in or took money out <laughs> and uh, that's it and the obviously the cash envelope for a few 
I have several and some 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 extra pages um, yeah I'm I don't know if this will work it might it might not if we need something in not cash which we often do even though money uh, cash is king in this uh, country um, we don't have that many different saving accounts and I can't like split this stuff up online so um, I'll just do it like that and when we need it online uh, we'll just go to the bank that's it so yeah this is my very old ring binder with like my it's not a budget because I'm except for the cars I'm not really budgeting um, saving money money book my, my my money book yeah money book um <laughs> yeah so it's it's not the newest it's not the fanciest i i am aware that when i have hopefully filled the envelopes it might not fit in here and i i it's possible that i will need to put the envelopes in a separate binder but those binders like those are a dime a dozen on Amazon or something and not very expensive because I don't need anything fancy <coughs> I just need a binder with where I can put stuff and I'm sorry I sound a bit sick because well I am sick so <laughs> yeah and um, I just have a pen here it's very very uh, no frills simple just writing down the stuff and we will see how it develops because i uh, haven't done it in this form yet so yeah and uh, next video i'm hoping to do the uh january setup in my planner which is still the naughty nothing changed i only have like one i think it's one additional thing that I sadly needed I was hoping I wouldn't but it did <laughs> so yeah uh, I'll show you I'll show you then it's um, it's just a small little thing anyway so yeah I hope you you like my my geriatric <laughs> rings binder um, it's not cherry no let's not okay it's it's younger than me okay and I'm not geriatric so okay anyway so i hope you liked it and i will see you next time and please uh if you want to see more uh, is yeah i guess subscribe <laughs> and uh, like the video and please check out my stories they are very short you can just listen to them i am very proud of them but nobody's watching them <laughs> um everyone likes my planner content anyway so bye